Welcome back to my channel. So today I have got this creative look for you guys. Um, I just thought I'd like play around with makeup while answering a few questions. So this is like a Q&A slash life update video. I've been away for a while but I'll explain later why. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this look and I will see you guys in a bit. So I'm back as you can tell. I have been off for a while on YouTube, Instagram, but not on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter because I'm back on Twitter, guys, and I feel woke. Twitter is such a good platform. I have no idea why I deleted my Twitter. But yeah, anyway, follow me on Twitter. It's at Masoom. To start off with, I am priming my face with the, it's the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Pro Filter Primer. I love this stuff so much. I think it's such a good primer. It's so hydrating. Like, I just pop it everywhere and it really helps fill in my pores. By the way, guys, I just got back from swimming. Well, not now. I got back like two hours ago but um, I went swimming today and I've been going consistently for the last three weeks I feel so much better now that I'm like doing a bit of exercise and then I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty foundation and this is in the shade 190 it's a good match but you guys see like on camera it seems a bit light but it's it's quite a good match though basically my fin skin feels so good because I went to the steam room and I was there for like so long and it's really helped with opening and closing my pores and my skin skin feels great, my mood feels great in general. I just feel a bit more at peace, you know? Like I remember the last time I posted a video, just talking about my feelings, I was telling you how I was suffering from um, depression and anxiety and I feel like, alhamdulillah, that has improved over the past few weeks and I do feel a lot better and I feel kind of like I'm getting back to my old self. I don't fully feel that, feel like I'm 100% there, but I feel yeah, I feel definitely better like mentally. I feel like I'm kind of getting there and I feel more like more and more like myself every day. Sometimes it's hard though because I feel like I'm falling back again and and like I relapse and it's very demotivating because it's like I've, I feel like I've gotten so far and I feel like I've been really working on it and I feel like I've really acknowledged like whatever's, you know, I've really, you know, tried to acknowledge it and tried to work on it. Um, So it is difficult when like I feel like I'm not really progressing but in reality I'm I definitely am I do feel like I'm a lot stronger than I was a few months ago and I feel like I'm definitely in a much better place alhamdulillah and I wanted to share some really really great news with you guys I am going back to finish off my pre-reg if you guys aren't sure what I mean um I did pharmacy at uni after that after I graduated I started um my pre-reg meaning like my training year and you have to do a training year in a pharmacy for a year before you can register to be a pharmacist which um inshallah I plan to do oh my god yeah I'm not sure why that's gone so dry but I'm gonna add a bit more blend it in with a sponge by the way this sponge is from kiko and i love it it kind of reminds me of the fenty sponge but um it's a little bit longer and it's got like the flat edge which you can really get into your under your eyes with as i was saying because alhamdulillah i feel like i'm in a much better place it's not at the same pharmacy it's at a different pharmacy which is great it means a uh, change of scene and experiencing new things and i hope that it'll be a good experience for me so wish me luck and i can't wait to complete my training year and become a pharmacist inshallah. I owed it to myself to just complete my education. Like I love what I do on YouTube and being a social media influencer and it's such a fulfilling job for me. It's actually really, really difficult. Like you need a lot of motivation and I am I get very insecure with my like online presence. I feel like I'm not good enough. I, I constantly like doubt myself and that I don't post anything and that I don't make any content and, and the content that I put out, I'm just not happy with. And like I want to do more what I have have envisioned like I can do everything that I need to do now but what I want to do in the long run like I need I need to kind of like think about that I can focus on like both my channel and you know pre-reg obviously I, I'm not going to be posting as much because it's going to be very busy moving on I'm going to take the Becca highlighter in pearl and it's the liquid highlighter and oh my god I love using this like it honestly looks so good on your skin okay and then I take this it like hugs your cheekbone so well. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. That's where I am at right now. It's like I know myself a little bit more as well now. Like I feel like I was so lost for so long and I felt like I completely lost myself. I still have a long way to go. Like I don't think that I can ever be 100% perfect. I, I feel like I'm always trying to work on myself to become the best version of myself. Wait, I'm using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour in C6. It's actually a really good concealer. I use it all the time 
really lightweight but still full coverage you know oh this makes me look slim already i'm also gonna add a little bit of maybelline fit me in number 10. it's actually a really good nice yellow color that i can just blend into my skin tone and blend the edges of this concealer up nami nami like i was saying yeah i recently have been very off instagram i just feel like it is so fake like not always like i feel like it depends on who you follow as well but the majority of like the explore page is so clickbaity and like i don't know like the content is just it's just really fake stuff and i'm not enjoying it like 100 percent um like i try and keep my instagram pretty real but then it's still it's not 100 percent natural because they are like curated images they are um images that i've created just for instagram but i'll try and you know still be real with you guys like I don't want anyone to ever go on my Instagram or my page and feel like their life is inadequate like because sometimes I go on other people's Instagrams and I feel like my life's inadequate but which is not it's not so that that's why sometimes I feel like I really need an Instagram break because it puts things into perspective when when you indulge in too much social media it really messes with your head and it really can affect you in a negative way so I think social media breaks or like Instagram breaks in general can be really really good for you and and i think everyone should have it especially you know people nowadays i feel like everyone goes online and they they see people's lives and they have this desire to live a life just like that i don't i don't think that's the right thing because that life on instagram is made for instagram that's not someone's life that's like five minutes out of someone's life plus the editing the captions it's all you know premeditated i think what i'm trying to say is even though you're on social media and i'm on social media just be wary of who you follow the effect it's having on you and your mental health if you feel like it is affecting you negatively and unfollow that person that's causing that feeling unfollow those people that you know make you feel like you're consistently comparing your life to theirs um unfollow people that boast about material possessions and treat it as a, as a sign of success that for me i don't feel resonates with me because that's not my life i don't aspire to have like material possessions to make me feel success successful i aspire to have an influence in this world to affect people positively in some way um whether that be through makeup whether that be through you know my videos whether that be just you know talking to my friends and family like i just aim to be like a good person and not not focus on such things and if i ever get to a point where i am focusing on material possessions like someone needs to just like click their fingers and be like msuma what what are you doing like this is not you because it's not me i i appreciate some certain like you know designer things like i feel like some things are so beautiful and i'd love i'd love to one day maybe invest in those but i don't i don't ever want to treat it as a sign of success like there's nothing wrong with having like designer stuff if you're treating it as like a sign of success then i think that it can skew your priorities it's really it like i'm not judging anyone for the way they live their life that's fine but if it if it if they're if you're on social media and you're affected the wider public you're affecting young girls that are so impressionable you i feel like you really do need to think about these things okay i'm gonna go in with powder contour i'm gonna take the take the kat von d shade and light palette and i'm just gonna put powder contour and i'm gonna take this shade and then this shade to deepen up the contour so i've been trying to contour my face naturally so i've been like massaging my knuckles under my cheekbones and it's really been helping define my cheekbones can you see just give it a try guys i'm just gonna deepen it up a little bit guys if you if you're wondering why i'm so serious while i do my makeup it's because i need to concentrate like i'm really bad at multitasking trying to multitask and i'm just not very good at it so yeah that's the contour and i just feel like it, it just looks so good oh by the way there is one fly in this room that's bugging me and i need to get rid of it i don't know how to get rid of this thing so let me get to answering your questions i asked you guys some questions on my instagram go follow me on instagram so you can go ask some questions because i usually do my q and a's on there I'm, i've got a list of questions on my laptop here um first First question is what did you do at college to get into pharmacy so that's pretty straightforward i did my gcse's at gcse's i think i chose geography history geography history pe and urdu i actually did urdu as a gcse but yeah um i love geography explains why because i love traveling and i love like to learn about the world and i just feel like i'm like this free spirit that just wants to like travel and if i was to do anything in life i would just pack everything up and just travel i would just be a nomad 
Like I would just travel and work. And then for A level, obviously I had to go for maths. I loved chemistry by the way, I loved chemistry. So I had to do chemistry and biology I loved as well. So I decided to do biology. Um, maths because I thought it would be useful um, because since I started working in the pharmacy I decided that I wanted to do pharmacy because it seemed like a very good option for a woman I wanted to be able to have my own working hours so I could work on my own terms like I could locum and stuff so that's why pharmacy was very appealing to me now little did I, did I think of the lengthy course it's four years four years at uni and then one year training before you can actually qualify as a pharmacist. I feel like pharmacists don't really get a lot of recognition for the amount of studying that they do. And that's the annoying part. Like the job itself is really good, but the job satisfaction is not is not good because people don't really understand what our job is, even now, even though we have such a huge part in the healthcare system. Yeah, I'm going off track, aren't I? So I chose for A-levels maths, uh, biology, chemistry, and psychology, which psychology was really interesting, by the way, but I had a rubbish teacher. Like, I, to this day, love anything psychology related. So, so yeah, that happened. And after my A-levels, I took a gap year. I did some uh, traveling and I was working. I do feel like I've been do I have been doing that for a long time. I actually really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the course. Um, it was very stressful though. Lots of exams, lots of practicals, lots of, um, a lot of learning. It was definitely a lot of learning. Uh, it's a very, very tedious course, especially for being like four years long but nonetheless it is very interesting um i'm gonna move on to eyes while i talk because i feel like i'm getting distracted this is the cocoa blend palette by zoeva and it's got these really nice neutral colors i'm gonna use this as my transition shade and this in to like deepen the crease out so then yeah i did pharmacy for uni and here i am now four years later four and a half years later even i think it's very interesting if you're interested in chemistry and math then it is definitely a very, very interesting course. I feel like pharmacists do have a lot more to offer. Um, there are a lot more roles that pharmacists can take now rather than just, you know, dispense like the old dis the old dispensers. It's a lot more clinical now. I feel like pharmacists do have a more clinical role now more than ever. How would you advise someone to select a degree select a degree when they have no idea? I would say if you don't know by year 13 or like the last year of your college, um, if you don't know what you want to do and you have no clue, I would say apply for whatever course interests you the most um, because there is no harm in applying and, you know, see how you do, see what grades you get, etc. And try and get the best grades as you can get because honestly, for uni, grades will help you out with your requirements and stuff. But if you have no idea what to do, then I would say take a gap year. I took a gap year and it was the best decision I made. I think if you ever need to take a break and just step back, you can, like, there's nothing wrong with taking a break. And I always, like, feel like people are constantly comparing themselves to other people that are in the same age as them. Like, I always compare myself to my, like, classmates or people that are the same age as me who are, like, way well into their career now and I'm, like, still studying. Everyone's journey is different and everybody's life is different. You can't, you can't compare your progress to anyone else's because everyone's path is different. Everyone's time is different. What's written for someone else may not be written for you now and that's a, there's a reasoning behind it and there's a wisdom behind it that you just need to trust. I 100% I believe everything happens for a reason. So if you feel like you're not at a place in your life where you should be because you're 25 or you're nearly 30 and everyone else is, just remind yourself that there is no rush. Like. There is literally no rush. Who are you competing with? There's no point in competing with anyone else. Just be the best version of yourself that you can be. Do your best. Like that's all you can do. And I'm I'm guilty of this myself. I, I honestly sometimes end up comparing to my peers and I'm like, oh, but everyone else has like finished their pre-reg and I haven't. I sometimes like feel like maybe I'm a failure, but I'm not. It's just my circumstances were different to theirs. Like you can't compare both of them. There's no point. There's no benefit towards it. I think that it's so important to have inspirations in your life but when you get to the point when you're negatively comparing your life to someone else's and you're constantly feeling like you're not good enough that's when you need to start changing your mindset and just thinking no I am good enough I can do whatever I'm doing but I just have a different journey for me. Next I'm going to go into freshly toasted and I'm going to just take my Fenty Beauty mirror. I feel like I've only answered one question. How do you stay fit and healthy? Mm. Me? Fit and healthy? Yeah, not anymore. 
I've started working out again. I started going swimming again. So that's great. I love swimming. It's like my favorite way to work out. Uh, and it's definitely making me a lot fitter in terms of like my stamina and like giving me more energy in general uh, without tiring me out. Cause I feel like when I go to the gym, I get so tired. Whereas when I go swimming, I feel like I'm like energized and refreshed. You know. Okay, next I'm gonna take this sleek palette and I really wanna take this uh, orange or yellow. I'm not sure. I think I might go with the yellow in my inner corner. So I'm gonna take that on my brush, pop that. Oh, okay. Were you an A star student when you were in high school? Did you fail anything? And how exactly did you get into pharmacy after school? As in, go away. As in grades and trying not to fail. Um, yeah, I was not an A-star student, but I did get A-stars here and there, but I wasn't like a all A-star student. I think I definitely like didn't enjoy studying, so I literally like, I got an A-star for chemistry and I didn't even revise properly. But yeah, um, I just really wasn't a huge fan of like studying and I think that's one of the things that I would really recommend at a young age to just get into the habit of like studying and revising and like managing your time. I was just very bad at managing my time and I still to this day feel like I'm quite bad at managing my time. So yeah, did you fail anything? I actually, let's just say I fell asleep in my history exam. GCSE by the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, but Alhamdulillah I did well in every, all of my other subjects so, and I made it to pharmacy which is great, Alhamdulillah. Um, so I got offers from all of the unis that I applied to but I didn't get the grades for my first choice so I ended up going with my second choice which was Reading and Alhamdulillah worked out for the best because Ellie ended up going to Reading too and we got married, yay! Because who, who knows, if we didn't end up going to the same uni we might have stopped being friends and we might have never got married so everything happens for the best. Um, what has been the hardest part about being a wife? Go away. I'm trying to talk here, okay? Um, what has been the hardest part about being a wife? I think the hardest part about being a wife is having that responsibility and also trying to have my own individuality and trying to not lose myself in the marriage. Yeah, I just feel like it's so easy to like lose yourself. Okay, I'm using this color from the Makeup Revolution Naked Chocolate Palette. It's the knockoff of the Too Faced palette. And I'm using this highlight shade. Just here and I also want to take real gar this one here I want to really 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 work it into my crease be super pigmented like I don't I don't usually do a heavy look but I'm just you know going for it today Ooh, that is so pretty so like I was saying I just feel like I was saying yeah it's it's I, it was difficult at first but now I love it I feel like I've really found like a balance in my life and marriage and everything and alhamdulillah like the first few years it's like it's good but it's not like solidified it's not like a solid relationship it's still like a relationship in the works so i feel like now after a few years it's definitely like we've definitely given it time we've definitely nurtured our relationship to become what it is now and i think that has also helped me just focus on other things and just focus on myself as well so i don't know if you guys feel the same but i feel like getting married young is very distracting I think getting married in general is very distracting. You end up spending a lot of time and energy into your marriage and focusing on, you know, your marriage, especially the first couple of years or months. How do you react to hate about your religion? I actually did have a racist incident as a training pharmacist last year and a white woman came up to me at the counter and she basically told me I didn't need to wear my hijab. She was very adamant that I shouldn't be wearing a hijab and that she knows the Quran so well and there's no way that it tells us to wear a hijab and I just felt like had I not been wearing a hijab she would have not needed to come up to me just by me wearing a hijab gives her a reason to just talk about the way I dress and my choices and how my choices aren't right and my reaction was just you know just to be patient not say anything and just tell her you know this is my hijab this is this is my clothing this is the way I dress myself and this is up to me like that's what all I had to say to her I wish I said something really like snarky but I don't know it's not in me to just like reply with a really snarky comment like I, I overcompensate especially with like different cultures people that are not Muslim I overcompensate and I'm like super nice so that so they don't generalize me as a Muslim do you know what I mean like say if I was like a horrible person and I was horrible to them that day and I was just super rude they will not say that I was a rude one they'll say Muslims are rude and that's what not why I want to spread so I try and like genuinely like try and deal with everything in a positive way even though it, like it, ma it made me really uncomfortable and I even like 
I think I ranted about it on Snapchat as well and it made me really really uncomfortable for a while. It's horrible that this type of like big bigotry still like occurs. But yeah, um, next I'm taking the boy brow, the Glossier boy brow. You guys know, I just love this stuff. I love Glossier. What are your future goals and where do you see yourself in the next 10 years? So, in the next 10 years, I'm putting this out into the world. I would love to be a homeowner inshallah um, and have my own place. I would love to have kids um, and I would love to, uh, in terms of future goals, like in the near future, my near future goal is to complete my pre-reg and register as pharmacist, still carry on doing YouTube and and make a difference to people's lives. I want my content to resonate with people. I want people to like be able to relate to me. I want people to be able to like feel like they come on my channel and they can feel like I'm being real with them and I, I'm just like a friend talking to them. Like I absolutely love boy brow. Look how much filler it just made my lash, my um, eyebrows. I haven't even filled them in. It's already basically filled them in for me. Okay. Sorry guys, my battery dies, but um, yeah, I'm back. But yeah, I think um, for those of you that are applying for uni, just um, think of something that you are really interested in and just know that uni isn't the only option. Like, uni is important, education is important, but uni is not the only way of education. If you know what I'm talking about, like, you don't need a degree to be smart. You don't need a degree to, you don't need a degree to show that you're capable of something. Okay, okay, I'm real girl under my lash line oh my god that is a lot of fallout oh my god it's not good bottom lash line here i'm taking my blending brush i'm just gonna blend it all out underneath and i want this to be so so smoky i don't know how to use the yellow one or the orange one i've got two of the nyx vivid bright liners so i might go with yellow actually because it looks pretty good Oh yeah, let me, so this is the NYX Vivid Bright and it's just such a bright um, eyeliner shade. Ah, it's going all over my lash line, but that looks so good, oh my god. Let's just get super creative with this look. Um, by the way, I'm not talking because this requires the utmost concentration and I cannot, like I just can't afford to mess this up. It's a bright yellow eyeliner. I'm just going to take some makeup wipes and just take the yellow away from the tips. But yeah, I thought I'd up update you guys and just let you guys know where I am in my life. I feel like I'm in a better place. I I just didn't want to film anything. Like, as you can tell, I've just been doing vlogs and stuff. I didn't feel like sitting down and like talking to you. Like, I feel quite vulnerable when I sit down and like talk to you guys and I just didn't want to do that. I don't know. I just wanted to take a break from YouTube. Take, wanted to take a break from Instagram and stuff. And I'm back and I feel refreshed and I feel like I can really concentrate on the content that I want to make. And... I definitely, definitely feel like I'm in a much better place. And I'm gonna take this just to bait under my eyes. I can get rid of any, any fallout, cover any fallout that I've just had. I'm gonna take my Milani Luminoso blush. This is like my favorite blush. Um, and I really love the Makeup Revolution blushes too. I'm taking the lip liner. It's called Cappuccino by Rimmel. I'm just going to outline my lip and go in with a peachy nude but it, this is the maybelline superstay matte ink new york and i really love this formula guys so nice yeah um, i i like that and as you guys know i'm obsessed with the lily lashes like i can't get enough of the lily lashes so i'm just gonna pop on my mascara and i've really been loving the glossier lash slick mascara was i like predicting that glossier was coming out with the mascara like wow i this is a conspiracy. I am a Glossier conspiracist. I've been watching way too many Shane Dawson conspiracies recently. I am not gonna lie. And honestly, this mascara is so good. Um, let me know if you guys want a review on it. If you want a review on this mascara and I will definitely, definitely review it if you guys really want me to. Oh guys, I love this mascara. This mascara is so good. Look how good my lashes look right now. So I'm gonna, gonna, just going to take my Lily Gleach lashes Give them a curl. I'm gonna pop this lash on. This is the Lily Gucci in the style Goddess. I just love them. I can't. I can't say anything against them. Waiting for my eyelashes to dry. I'm just going to um, contour my nose. So I'm taking my contour palette. It is the 
Charlotte Tilbury bronze and sculpt, I think. Bronze, film star bronze and glow. Onto my nose, just under here, on the sides. Just give my nose a bit of definition, going along the sides of it. I just feel like this helps really define my nose. For my nose highlight, I'm going to take my favourite brush. I don't know what this is. This is the Pixel Pointed Eyeliner Brush from Real Techniques. I think I might go in with Fenty Beauty. So I'm going to take Trophy White just to go with the whole yellow theme um, by Fenty Beauty. And just go down. Yeah, I can't believe I've actually never used this. I've had it for months, but I've actually never used it because it's so, so intense. I'm going to take my highlighter brush, pop it in here and just... I also want to bronze myself up a little, little bit more and just go ham. Okay, I think I'm done with the look now. I'm just highlighting my brow bone with that highlight shape. I absolutely love Charlotte Tilbury products. I might actually add a little... All right, guys, that's it for today's look. I went a bit overboard, but I'm quite happy with it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed this uh, life update, quick chatty update with me. Um, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what videos you guys want to see next down below. Give me a comment and let me know how you found this video. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye. My boy.